especially with the brand new update teaser trailer uploaded by the developers of Roblox Doors recently and showcasing the ever sacred crucifix within it, a lot of players have been wondering how this item will work. Well, let me show you the most insane crucifix moments within the game of Roblox Doors. Comment below how many knobs you would pay for this item in the shop and you better like and subscribe or else we'll have to use this item on you. Don't risk it. Of course, we have to start with one of the more interesting uses of the crucifix and that is going to be right on the entity we all should know that is the figure. What would happen if we use this item against figure inside of the library? Well, let's find out. Wow, interesting! At certain parts, it seems like it was doing something making figure glitchier than normal, but other times it didn't seem to do anything at all. And the fact that A60 also decided to randomly spawn in later in the scene could have either been a hack or possibly a punishment for using the crucifix for too long. That would be crazy if that's the case. But this one's insane. Karin Hong was actually able to use the new updated crucifix indoors, just like the one we've seen inside the trailer for the game. This one's going to be good. Whoa, did you see that? Rush got raised up to the ceiling due to the chain so smoothly, which was crazy. Cardin was also able to trap Ambush right after. Wait, what? Uh, that, hold on. Oh, oh, no! Yeah, it also works on Ambush too, in the same way. It's just interesting how the chains will lift the entities upwards rather than downwards, which made more sense. But it looks like the updated crucifix is looking quite sleek for this next update in a couple weeks. This one is nuts though. Eyes, as you should know, does contain a total of 38 eyes and well, if all of those eyes end up staring into the crucifix, apparently this is what happens to the entity. It's like eyes literally gave up from the game and faded away slowly to the underworld crazily enough. Granted, this may have been an older fan-made version of the crucifix, but it's interesting to compare it to the newer crucifix versions that are going on right now. Can't top this though. Cardin again during a live stream had to use the power of the crucifix, this time against more than 10 rushes at the same time. It's absolutely insane. This is sick, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Let me make it slower next time. Like, what? It's actually cool to see the crucifix being spammed like that, especially since you can see the glowing chains and all the rushes presumably go to heaven now thinking about it. Definitely a Chad moment by the infamous Cardin Hong right there. But what about using the crucifix on another popular entity such as Seek? What would actually end up happening to the entire chase sequence if you decided to use the item on them early on? Well, let's find out. Quite the buggy start right there with Seek's eye casually floating in mid-air. But it seems that just equipping the crucifix alone bugs out the whole entire body of the entity and leaving their eye exposed. Pretty creepy if you ask me, but I guess it shows you the true power of the crucifix against Seek. Honestly though, this one's hilarious. Apparently Lynxie also tried using the crucifix on Seek, but it turned out to become a cartoon chase instead, funnily enough. Yeah, Seek, you better run on up to your little mama boy. She's been worried sick about you. <laughs> the entity does actually run really fast though, as Lynxie points out too, which I do agree. Man's gotta run for his life away from the crucifix in order to live another day. But thing 
things get crazier. With super hacks enabled to make the crucifix even more powerful, I guess this is what happens if you know clip with the entity. That is so strange. It like completely bugs out the whole entire game, spawning the seek chase in random rooms, including the puzzle room? Bro, that's Whoa. definitely a first right there. But this is just impossible. Apparently 9T was able to use the godlike crucifix item on an entity that was showcased as a leak within the trailer? That's right, they used the item on Greed itself multiple times here. What? How can you literally deflect greed like that if they aren't even officially in the game, bro? I guess greed needs to go back and get some more powers at the gym next time. I know you're probably thinking, what would also happen if you decided to use the crucifix right on Hulk? Especially as they love to teleport all over the rooms and confuse the player. Well, sorry to disappoint. But thanks to Linksy again for showcasing this, apparently nothing really happens if you do use it on Halt. Though, it could be different in the new Doors update. But, do you all still remember about that depth painting leak that was posted within the previous leak video as well? Aww, uh, I guess Carden had their magical crocs on again because you don't want to miss this. Oh my- Bro, the goose Oh, ah, got you, buddy. I got you. They actually used the new crucifix once again, this time on depth. And though the animation is the same, it's pretty insane that they were able to catch the entity oh, ah, traveling you, at that rate of speed. You. Imagine trying to catch Sonic the Hedgehog with the crucifix. You just can't do it, man. But ladies and gentlemen, the infamous A60 that you all know is one of the most powerful and most secret entities out there in Roblox doors. But the question remains, will the crucifix be able to capture this elusive entity? Well, let's go. Uh, that is, that is. What was that? But this is the craziest one. I'm lagging. If you guessed yes, well, congratulations, because apparently even the crucifix would be able to capture A60 in its final form as well. 